one of the most useful tools in Photoshop in selecting things is the magic wand tool. And here I've got a simple selection and I want to get rid of the sky and uh, just leave the buildings. I can, of course, use the polygonal lasso tool maybe, but that requires quite a few clicks. Uh, I can use that and then go through, select what I want, but you know, it's quite a lot of work. So the magic wand tool makes things quite easy. If you've got a nice plain background or an area like we have here, the default tolerance is set to 32. And if I use that and click on the background, and you can see in one click, it almost selects the whole lot. So not quite, you can see we've got a few little things that are not selected. So I'll just drop that. Command or Control D, and I'll increase the tolerance, say, to about 60, and click again. And you can see if I increase the tolerance, it gets a bit bigger. Now, again, it's starting to get a bit more work, so I can increase the tolerance, increase the tolerance. So I'll set it back to 32, the default, and click in the middle, that gets rid of it. Click again, and the easiest thing is just to use a shortcut. So I've selected part of the sky. I hold the shift key and I'll just keep on collecting the bits of the sky that I haven't got. And you can see it works quite well. I actually want the reverse. I want the buildings. So all I have to do is go to the select menu and inverse. There you go. And if I do a layer mask now, there you go, I've got the background and you can see the layer mask here has blocked out the sky. And if I add a solid color, doesn't matter what, and drag it below, and you can see the sky has come out, been blocked out quite nicely. It does depend on the type of image you have for you to uh, use this but for things with a plain background it works very very well the thing to be aware of though there's a few options so you increase the tolerance will increase the area that gets selected but again you don't have to do that too much which is why we use the shift key anti-aliasing sort of gives you a blurred edge so that's generally on let's get rid of the background and uh, you can see we have a sort of, some of the pixels at the edge are sort of faded slightly. So it gives like a blurred edge, which is generally preferred. Contiguous means touching, which is what we want in this case. If it wasn't touching, it would go through the whole picture to select all pixels. The way the magic wand works, the tolerance is down to brightness. So if I do a reverse, or sorry, a revert, and if I take off uh, contiguous and then click pending, see here you go. Now I've started to select portions that, here you go, the building, for example, which is I don't want. The tolerance is basically I click on the pixel and it selects the brightness value. And brightness values in Photoshop are generally from 0 to 255. 0 black, 255 white, and the tolerance means I click on the pixel and it's got a brightness value of say 50. Then it checks all the pixels that are touching because in this case I've got contiguous off. But it will check all the pixels that have the same brightness value. And if contiguous is on, only if they're touching the pixel I click on. And then if they are the same brightness value plus or minus 32, then it will add to the selection. So that's why the tolerance the higher that is, the more I select. And I'll just drop that selection. And what's also useful as well is sample or layers. So if I do a new blank layer, so I'm on that blank layer, and I've got sample or layers, and it will still work because it's drilling down. And if I do the same, uh, shift click, it's drilling down to select uh, the layer. And this is quite useful because I can do things on a separate layer. And there you see the selection is actually on the second layer. So the magic wand tool is very, very useful. 
Also, do not forget, shift click adds to the selection, but alt click takes away from the selection. So if you have selected too much, that's also useful as well. So that's the magic wand tool, very, very useful and worthwhile learning to add to your repertoire of useful tools in Photoshop.